and it is also an indisputable fact that any acceleration requires a force to produce it. You don't need a force to cause an acceleration, and you can have an acceleration without a force, and gravity is indeed one of these cases. But she says if gravity is not a force, then you can't have a force to get the acceleration. Can you have acceleration without a force? Yes or you no? Have, uh, according to Einstein, yes. Can you have yes. acceleration without according a force? According to yes Einstein, no? yes, you can. So he debunked Newton then, yes? No, he didn't debunk Newton. Law uh, 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 says uh, that you cannot have an acceleration without a force. Newton's Gravity first is not and a second force, law do not say that. No and it is also an indisputable fact that any acceleration requires a force to produce it. The reason when we say gravitational force is that there is an acceleration acting upon a mass. If a body is not at rest or moving at a constant speed in a straight line, it will stay at rest or keep moving in a straight line at a constant speed unless acted upon by a force, which you Correct. don't have with Einstein. Correct, yeah. exactly. Yeah, Einstein gives you the acceleration, that's fine. You just debunked yourself. No, I really didn't. Einstein gives you the acceleration. Acceleration and mass equals force. And if you have a force, you can have something again, acted again. upon. Oh, but, oh, 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 I'm talking. If you have an acceleration and you have a mass, therefore you have a force. And according to Newton's first law, Newton's first law states if a body is at rest or moving at a constant speed in a straight line, it will remain at rest or keep moving in a straight line at constant speed unless it is acted upon by a force. Mass times acceleration, e a mass times acceleration equals a force. There is your force yes. acting upon it. Boom. Done. No. You not understanding no. that no. doesn't no. change things. No. No. Yes, no. yes, no. yes, no. yes, 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 yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Newton's yes. first law Newton's says, first law says at yes. constant speed, uh -huh. yes, unless yep. acted upon by a force. And how, how do you get a force? You have mass times force. acceleration. Force equals mass times acceleration. Mass times acceleration equals a force. Therefore, you have a force that can act upon something moving in a straight line no, at constant no, speed. No, 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 yes, no. Yes, 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 yes. Just because you're too fucking thick to understand doesn't change it. Again, you're not understanding. <laughs> says the Dunning-Kruger queen of the world Please, who doesn't funny, understand the F equals MA. Nobody's saying F doesn't equal MA. What you are, are you saying? You are apparently. But, you're no. saying I don't have a force you're even though I have a mass and acceleration. Me again. Uh, you are saying you can't that let I... me finish because you know you're wrong. Gravity is not a force. Gravity is caused by the curvature of space-time. What does it mean that gravity is not a force? It means that if you fall in a gravitational field, you are not accelerated because there's no force acting on you. Oh, yeah! Einstein allegedly had this insight when a man fell off a roof and reported feeling weightless. Whether that anecdote is true or not, he captured it in his thought experiment with the elevator. If you're in an elevator that falls with you in a gravitational field, you have no idea if there's gravity at all. And likewise, if the elevator is pulled up and accelerates upwards, then you can't distinguish that from being in a gravitational field. If you're being pulled up, there is a force that acts on you, but it's not gravity, because gravity is not a force. The force that acts on you is that from the floor pushing you up. Same thing with Earth's gravity. At the moment, there's no gravitational force acting on you. Because gravity is not a force. There's a force acting on you from the ground, which is the reason why you are not freely falling into the center of Earth. Since there's a force acting on you, you are accelerated. You're at rest relative to the surface of Earth. And you're accelerating at the same rate as the surface of Earth. The relative velocity is zero. Flat Earthers actually have this part right. What does it mean that gravity is not a force? It means that if you fall in a gravitational field, you are not accelerated because there's no force acting on you.